another spectacular edition of Chuck's Garo. Well, actually, I don't, I don't do it as well as you. Guarantee. Give the people what they want. So, Chuck, hope you had a great holiday weekend. Glad it's over. What's up? Um, Frozen Two was awesome, by the way. I wait. You didn't go see it. I, I took my daughter to go see it, man. Okay, that's a good dad. So that's one that you got right. Okay. So you were two and two last week. So, so your record. Was was spectacular. Four and one the first week, but it, it dropped to two and two. So you're six and three overall so far that's this season. That's spectacular. It's not bad. It's not like me because I'm one and zero. Oh. I'm spectacular because yeah, okay. I got. You thought Jimmy Butler was going to to get cheered in Philly? He actually got booed. The reaction to Jimmy Butler a few moments ago. That was a part of the. Yeah, I, I saw that. As a matter of fact, you that's saw a, that. That surprised me. You know what that was? Uh, no, you don't, because it was the row veto. I had to pause for a second just for that. So uh, we got to move forward to this week because did we you have come up with yourself on that one. Actually, I did. Oh, my Lord. Do you like it or not? I, I mean, go ahead. I mean, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing started. So Mello playing very well. Western Conference player of the week. You did get that one right. So that one was on your record. So we have to include him this week. They are playing the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed Laker win. Wait, wait, wait. You, you didn't even allow me to say what. Okay, go so, ahead. So the question is, will Carmelo outscore the Lakers' top scoring reserve? I guarantee Kyle Kuzma will score more. Oh, okay. All right. Mark that one down. So moving forward, another one for Carmelo. He plays the Knicks in Portland. Will Carmelo outscore the Knicks starters or the Knicks leading scorer in that game? I guarantee it. That's personal. Guaranteed. Heard it right there. So moving forward, Rockets at Raptors, your favorite city, Toronto. Yep, Toronto. So far, the Raptors have been holding opposing players to, to season lows, whether it be Kawhi, Joel Embiid had a donut hole. So the question is, James Harden leads the NBA in scoring. Will they be able to hold him beneath his average? Guaranteed. That they will hold him, believe. believe. Yes. Okay. All right. I like that one. Actually, I'm gonna roll veto that one. James Harden's out here scoring ridiculously. He's averaging 38 a game. Listen, he, he he's putting up numbers. He gave us 60 and three quarters. I'm gonna roll veto that one. I'm gonna say he goes off in Toronto. The Toronto Raptors would not allow him. Actually, the Toronto Raptors, in my opinion have been the biggest surprise in the NBA so far. Very surprised. Doesn't look like they're missing Kawhi at all. So well, I didn't say that. Uh, I, 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 Don't be saying crazy stuff on the show. I'm just saying, I mean, they're, they're still decent. They pretty much have the same record they did with him on the team last season. Yeah, but they won't win a championship without Kawhi. That remains to be seen. You want to guarantee that one? Guarantee! The Raptors won't win the championship. All right, speaking of Kawhi and the Clippers, they play Milwaukee, two of the best teams Ooh. defensively in the NBA. So the question is not who will win, but who will have the lowest score between the two teams since they are top five defensively? We're on the clock right here, man. You can edit the tape. I need time to think. <laughs> uh, um, I'm guaranteeing a Bucks win. So you're going to say the Clippers. The Clippers will be on the low end. Guaranteed. Awesome. So this one right here is a special one that I wanted to ask. It comes from the bottom of my heart. So you have the SEC championship game. We know the LSU Tigers, which, of course, Shaquille O'Neal did attend that school. Yeah. Then you have the Georgia Bulldogs. Ernie Johnson is a Bulldog. So which team are you going to go with to win the championship of the SEC? Guaranteed. LSU. Really? Yes. Wow, okay. All right. Both of those teams, by the way, did uh, beat Auburn. It's okay. We it, beat it, Alabama. That's all that matters. Close score. Uh, close. We're not playing horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> so those are Chuck's guarantees for this week. Of course, we will hold them accountable. So we will see you next week. You see it right there. What's the name of the segment, Chuck? Guarantee. Back to you. Excellent. Appreciate that, Ro and Chuck. It is funny. He, I mean, you guys are tickled. Uh, he tickled me. Especially he reminds me of my grandma. That's why. <laughs> He's going to love that. I'm sorry, Chuck. But Chuck's going to love that. I will my grandma guarantee you won't have a voice pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know his voice goes out. I'm going to oh, guarantee his voice man. going in a minute. He's yeah. Well, coming. once a week, I think he can handle it. Okay. Once a week. We'll Get see. Him some tea. We'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's good. It's good, though. I enjoy it.
Ro Parrish, ladies and gentlemen, with Charles Barkley on their guarantee, and I'm not going to attempt to say that yeah, at there all. There you go. Stay classy, Steph. Thank you. <laughs> Pascal Siakam leading the way with the Toronto Raptors. They are trying to not repeat their loss that they had at home. The only loss so far at Scotiabank Arena.